Whew. Well, let me turn the lights up. So the main story of today is apparently Clinton becoming the presumptive Democratic nominee, uh, according to a couple of countings by... Let me see these sources again. I just want to make sure I have everything correct and, you know, 100% accurate, like Fox News. The Associated Press and NBC made this claim uh, today. Now, it's a little annoying, only because, you know, I didn't even get to vote. And let's say my one vote would have made the difference. I would have put Sanders on top before her or anything, but... Just the idea. Now, with that being said, I still, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not too disappointed because I, I feel as if I support him as best I could. The people who are just backers of his campaign did all they could as well. Really, everyone came together in a way where we all did what we could. If this, if she really has become the presumptive nominee, as the Associated Press and NBC stated today, June six. But I'm still, I'm still optimistic that even though she's apparently clinched the nomination today, we'll see something in the direction that we wanted with Sanders, that we wanted with uh, his campaign in her campaign if it if it makes it that far at the end of the day i don't i'm not big on her i'm not big on trump i honestly if it comes down to those two i might i'll either just support johnson the uh, libertarian or write sanders in or do something else because I, I i'm really i'm not willing to compromise i'm not willing to it's it's beyond com just compromising it's going against the fundamentals of Sanders' campaign. He proposed actual liberal policies that were not about being a moderate or uh, just trying to be so far to the right and then flipping your positions. He emulated consistency, and it's something that I think she's sorely lacking, and for that reason, she's going to miss many, and I, I do mean many, you can quote me on that, many of his supporters. They will not come out for her. They will stay home or they will write him in as I might do. And at the end of the day, she, they, the Democrats have furthered their demise and have caused even more possibility for Trump to win. You know, we've looked at polls and we've seen Sanders do better. We've looked at, um, you know, this different data that's just around the area and around the state and it always comes out the same way that Sanders does better, not just with independents, but with people in general almost. It's it's something we know that's been proven. And, you know, you'll have Clinton's backers go, oh, that's just early polling. They, they'll get him later. The Young Turks, po Young Turks pointed out he's been attacked multiple times by Trump, by Clinton, by other Republicans that uh, are aligned with Trump. And it just seems bizarre to me that they keep making that argument when he's faced his his trials and tri tribulations and still came out winning 21 states as of now. I mean, it's beyond crazy to me. And her lead, it, it felt as if with Sanders, is when he took one step forward, he'd take two steps back. And I, I don't see him crossing the pledged delegate count needed to to best her in that because if you just count those she still hasn't gotten it but those stupid super delegates as I call them uh, won't be swayed and since they can't be swayed I'm just going to keep being optimistic about the future and hope that something comes around that makes this an election to where I actually am excited to vote and not just doing this based on you know what's what might amount to any mini miny mo. Because I really am not big on her, I'm not big on Trump, and I just don't see where their supporters are um, going with this. We're going with two candidates who are polarizing, and you're either going to see, I think you might see a large voter turnout, but it won't be because people are excited to vote for someone, or they think the other person is dangerous, it'll be because they think both suck, let me go for the one that's slightly worse. And people can say, oh well, Trump's worse because he will shame um, 
Hispanics and Muslims. But with Clinton, it just seems to me that the only reason she embraces them, according to her campaign anyway, I, I don't know her, her personal views on this matter, is because she just wants to vote. She just wants them to back her. There's no, this is just, and the fact that it's on the day of Robert Kennedy's assassination is even more troubling to me because she does not, she's so opposite of him and just being this figure, I can't believe anything that comes out of her mouth unless it's been confirmed by someone else. I feel as if, you know, they, they had a thing where they're calling her a liar. It's a very accurate term. I'm absolutely dismayed by this. And, you know, these places reporting her as a nominee just say it seems so premature to me because we were expecting it yesterday and now they're over here just rallying counts and totaling and making all their different predictions and stating numbers but i just don't see it i don't see her as someone that i want to be my president as someone that i want to vote for and the same thing with trump and it might just make me stay at home or again back someone else <sighs> it's a really depressing election cycle that's all I'm going to say. But thank you for watching and have a good day.